What's up, dude and dude? This is Frogger2K9, and today I'm bringing you an MP7 on Sea Town. This is a pretty old gameplay, so uh, I apologize if I'm not up to speed on it, but. Oh well, it's not really the focus of this commentary. The focus of this commentary is zombies are real. Now, this is a notion that will scare the hell out of some people, excite others, and others will just don't know what to do with it. Now, the fact of the matter is, zombies are real. There are people who would come under the uh, definition of certain types of zombies. A lot of people don't know that zombies come in many types. A zombie is just a... a person who has gone back to their animal instincts. The, the, basically what a zombie is. It's not entirely that, but uh, yeah, it's someone who's gone back to their basic natural instincts. And the basic natural instinct for a human is to consume. A, a lot of people might think differently, but we are made up of 90% viruses. And, you know, our primary objective is multiply and consume. Because we're 90% viruses, so the fact of the matter is, we are part virus. And uh, I think this is as far as back as we can go, is going back to our virus roots. And that would be to multiply and consume. To do that, as a zombie, you eat. That is consuming, but by eating, you are also multiplying. So, yeah. Gives you something to think about. You might think I'm totally wrong on that, and you might go, uh oh, uh, no, no, no. Put it, in the, put it in the comments. If you think I'm completely wrong, if you think I'm right, if you think I'm onto something, stick it in the comments. I'd love to hear your ideas. But yeah, the uh, the thing that's come up recently is uh, is an event in Miami. And this guy, what he did was he, he did some really, really, really bad strand of LSD, like a really, really strong strand of LSD. That's caused him to over hallucinate and just lose his mind completely. He just turned into a monster. He turned into a zombie. And what he did was he began to eat. Yep. Sorry, no, eat. He began to eat someone's face. Just eat their face. Like. Ew. Dude. Come on, really? So just eat his face, and when a copper tried to come up to him, what did he do? Well, he didn't have a natural reaction, he didn't speak. He didn't make any gestures, or gestures, hand gestures of sorts. He just sort of looked up at the cop, and then growled like a, like a rabbit dog. Just growled. Yeah, so, um, that is technically could be classed as a zombie attack. But what they're calling it is a, um... Oh, what do they call it? Um, a cannibal attack, that's the one. They, they were calling it a cannibal attack. Now, um, as far as I know, cannibals are completely completely normal people, except for the fact that they like to eat people. They're, they can talk, they are very interactive, you know, they, they know how to talk, they know how to communicate, uh, they know what a gun is, and... Generally, I have not seen a cannibal be any more or less of a human than any other human is. You know, a cannibal is perfectly human. But this guy got shot several times, several times, and continued to eat as if he he'd, like had nothing had happened. Just just continued on. It wasn't until like he shot him so many times. Uh, I think he uh, I think he said four or five times he shot him before he actually died. Now. Depending on the caliber of gun and the, the strength of the guy, the, uh, the resistance of the uh, of the guy, the drug he was taking, of course, could obviously have an effect because there are many of many many drugs. Especially LSD would make you hallucinate. It, was, it also makes your muscles and your senses and all your reactions just change. It makes them change. So it's very very possible that he could have walked away with four bullets in him just from being high alone. But come on, really, it, you know even. The, just the, the mere force of being shot would have stopped him, but he didn't. He had acted as if nothing had happened, and he just continued to consume this guy's face. Yeah, so uh, that's that's a recent report, but a lot of people look at that and they think, oh, it's just coming around now. Well, not really. 
the possibility of us becoming zombies, the possibility of anything becoming zombies is entirely real. There are zombies out there. There are zombies that are flies. Now, for those that don't know what I mean, there is a fungus out there, a fungus, that has existed. I don't know when it started, I don't know when... I don't know if they've got rid of it yet, I doubt it. But there is a fungus that gets onto flies, and then what it does is it grows on them, and it connects to their, uh... uh <laughs> basically it connects to their brain, I, th I think it's like their neural network or something like that. Basically it connects to their brain, um, and it completely takes over their body. It, it kills a fly after it takes over the brain, but it, it, it keeps it alive. It keeps the body alive, but it kills the brain. Which is uh, kind of the opposite of what a zombie is, but then again, how would a zombie work otherwise? But this fly, these flies would be flown around by this fungus to spread more spores. Is this a zombie? I think so. The, zomb the fly is no longer there. At least, it doesn't know it's there, so technically zombie. Anyway. It's been a short gameplay for what it would have been would have been a long commentary. This has been Froggy2K9. Please rate and comment and subscribe. Happy days.